being able to deal with grit and learning from your failures and, and, and taking risk, Jeremy. What a super important part of life, this idea of taking risk, right? Um, to me, they're critical elements for a really happy, fulfilling life. Jeff, I once heard you say that you're concerned about our kids and the lack of tools that they have to live a happy and fulfilling life. Talk about that. Yeah, you know, I um, I grew up in an era, I think we both did, grew up in an era where there was grit and, uh, and struggle. Um, yeah. It was a natural part of our life. And, and I'm not at all suggesting that uh, that's not there now for, for our kids. My kids are in high school and junior high. Um, but I think we have removed some of the barriers um, that I think were really helpful for our own our own growth and development as, as humans and people and independent thinkers and all of the above. And um, I definitely worry about our kids and uh, the removal of those barriers. I think some of it has been done under this, uh, the guise of safety, which is, I think, really well-intentioned a lot of times. Um, but I think perhaps we, we've gone to a safe space uh, to an extreme. Uh, you know, probably everything in our life is on this pendulum, <laughs> swaying yeah. back and forth and back and forth. And, and for, for kids, my kids' age, my kids and that generation, I, I really I really worry about that because I think there's there's real value in grit and uh, and yeah. extra effort uh, developing that muscle that uh, internal muscle right of uh, the resilience and determination. Um, I feel like we have often removed uh, the the significance of failure. Um, is there a better teacher, Jeremy? in our life than that of failure, gotcha. right? Um, and, and from my perspective, uh, I've done a little bit of digging in on this in the last you know, year. Um, I feel like our education system is probably you know, an example of this in, in its extreme these days. My wife's a teacher, my kids are all in grade school. I, I continuously hear about the, the scaling back of our expectations of them. And, um, and that's, that's not a great thing. Um, you know, we, we need to continue to change and evolve for sure, education included. Uh, but but I'd, I'd love us to probably be expecting as much or more from our kids um, academically, socially, and, and beyond uh, than, uh, than we did when we were younger. And, and I'm not sure that, that our kids are getting that, that part of their, their upbringing. And um, I, I'm, I'm concerned about it, I'd say that, because I think being able to deal with grit, uh, learning from your failures and, and, and taking risk, Jeremy, what a super important part of life, this idea of taking risk, right? Um, to me, they're critical elements for a really happy, fulfilling life. You know my story, and I certainly know your backstory, and some of the greatest things I experienced today came out of the struggles that I hated to go through growing up as as a kid and I look back now and I didn't have a clue what was happening to me back then with the anxiety and the stress and the, the immense amount of stress and the anxiety and today like I would have given anything to change it in the moment but I look back now and I think to myself the things that I appreciate now the small things in life that I appreciate now I would have never in a million years appreciated if I didn't go through exactly what I went through back then and I believe it not only shaped me, but it completely changed my perception of life. Yeah. No, I, uh, I deeply agree. Um, those, are, those are incredibly valuable parts of our own development individually and all kinds of experiences that we have. And, and I think we may have been in a place where we, we've tried to you know, smooth out the road ahead of the kids a little bit and instead of leaving some obstacles in there. And, yeah. and I can see some of the reasons why, right? Like I, I can see that parents would feel better if their kids were doing better, if they had better grades. Um, but that doesn't mean that that's necessarily good for the kid. Exactly. 
Right. And, and th that's like, I think those are the kinds of things that we've been doing uh, generation generationally for a while. It's not, it's not, this is not a new thing. This is, these are decades old, this thing. And I, um, I think that we're having that pendulum come back. Um, I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful that it'll happen. I think there's a lot of, a lot of effort required, a lot of leadership and a lot of courage. Um, but I'm hopeful we'll, we'll make that slide back.